Hello everyone, uh, this is Engineer on the Reel and welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, I'll be discussing a reinforced concrete beam problem. So here's the question. A reinforced concrete beam is reinforced for tension only with four 28 millimeter diameter bars. The width of the beam is 300 millimeters and the effective depth is 435 millimeters. If Fc prime is equal to 21 megapascal and Fy is equal to 420 megapascal, compute the design moment capacity of the beam. So let's solve this one. Okay, here's the solution. First, uh, let me draw the beam muna. So um, let me use this. This beam has an effective depth of 435 and a width of 300 millimeters. So here's the figure. Uh, the width is 300 millimeters and the effective depth is 435 millimeters. Now, for us to solve the um, design moment capacity, we're going to get the depth of the compression block first, okay? Uh, how to do that? And that is by using the equation, the compression uh, is equal to tension. The compression is the force that the reinforced concrete can endure. No, that is 0.85 Fc prime uh, AB, okay? And the tension is equal to AS times FS. Uh, AS is the area of the uh, tension bars and FS is the stress of the tension bar. Okay, um, for you to understand it, um, ganito yan. Mag-draw muna ako. Um, say this is the strain diagram. Based on the code, the maximum strain at the extreme concrete compression fiber shall be assumed equal to 0 0.003. Okay, and the distance from the fiber of maximum compressive strain to the neutral axis C uh, shall be measured perpendicularly to the neutral axis. So, ito yung neutral axis okay, of the beam. And dito, uh, let us assume that the um, net strain of the tension bar is equal to um, ito, epsilon T. Okay, now, uh, dito, uh, this Fs uh, is a function of ED, because we know that E sub T uh, is equal to FS over ES, okay, where ES is um, equal to 200,000 uh, megapascal. Tama? Now, the compression block is this, and this uh, has a um, height or depth equal to A and that is equal to uh, 0 0.85 I uh, know beta sub 1 times C and sometimes that is equal to 0 0.85 okay uh, if that FC prime is less than uh, 28 megapascal or ranging from 17 to uh, 28 megapascal uh, we take beta sub 1 equal to 0 0.85 Now, if we are to consider this isometric view um, of that beam, uh, this is the compression block okay, of the concrete. No? And uh, the concrete stress of 0.85 Fc prime shall be assumed uniformly distributed over an equivalent compression zone bounded by edges, edges of the cross section and aligned parallel to the neutral uh, axis located a distance A from the fiber of maximum compressive strain as calculated as A is equal to beta, beta sub 1 times C. Now I'm reading from the uh, code 2015 NSCP, no, um, section 422.2.2.4.1. Okay, so ganun yan. So that is why um, this is the formula C is equal to the tension. Uh, the tension is this. Okay? 
Now, this tension uh, is equal to uh, AS times FS. Okay. Uh, let's make it FS muna. And that FS uh, can be calculated using this, right? Uh, that is FS is equal to this epsilon for the net uh, tensile strain times ES. And we know that ES is 200,000. So let's make it 200,000 uh, epsilon T or net tensile strain. Okay, let me copy this na lang. Okay, so ganun yung FS now. As we can see, we can also express this um, net strain uh, as a function no? or by, by doing ratio and proportion. That is, this strain over D minus C is equal to 0 0.03 0, 0, over C. Okay? So solving for that, that epsilon, uh, that is equal to 0 0.003 okay, over C times D minus C. Okay? Now, uh, how about FS? FS, again, is equal to 200,000 times epsilon T, no, or the net strain. So if we are to substitute, uh, that is equal to 200,000 times this. That is that. So what is that? Um, that is equal to, uh, let me evaluate, 200,000 times 0 0.003 is equal to 600 times uh, D minus C all over C. Okay. Now, dito, if this FS prime exceeds FY, then we've got to use FY. Like we've got to change this to FY. And we've got to calculate A uh, using uh, that formula, making this as FY. But if this FS becomes less than FY, well, that means the uh, tension bars uh, did not yield, no? So, if you say, we must use as it is, no, as what we got, no, dito. If that becomes less than 420 megapascal. So, let's find that out. Now, uh, using this, compression equal to tension. Again, the compression is equal to 0 0.85. FC prime AB. Okay, so um, following this, uh, that is equal to 0 0.85 FC prime AB is equal to AS FS. So FS is equal to uh, 600 times D minus C all over C. Now, here, uh, let's make that A equal to beta sub 1 times C. Okay, so this will become, if I'm going to copy, um, this will become 0 0.85 times beta C. Okay, times B is equal to AS times 600 times D minus C all over C. Now let's solve for um, C. But before that, uh, let me let us ano muna, consider the given. Uh, the given of C prime is equal to 21 megapascal, right? Ano pa? Uh, beta is equal to 0 0.85. No? Uh, why? Because... Uh, FC prime is less than 28 or ranging from 17 megapascal to 28 megapascal. Okay. Now, a B, of course, that's given. That's 300 millimeters. And D naman is equal to 435 millimeters. Okay. And rather, the AS is equal to pi over 4 times D squared. A given uh, the diameter of bars is 28. 
and there are four bars. So evaluating that, uh, that is equal to uh, pi is 3.14159 times uh, 28 squared times 4 over 4. And that is equal to uh, 2,463 millimeter squared. Okay. So that's it, millimeter squared. Now let's substitute. No, that is equal to 0 0.85. I'm following this. 0 0.85 times FC prime 21 times times beta, which is equal to 0 0.85 uh, times C, which is the unknown, times B, uh, 300. And that is equal to AS, 2,463.01 uh, uh, times 600 uh, times D minus C, 435 minus C. Minus C. all over C. Okay, so how to solve for C? Well, I'm gonna use the calculator, this Canon calculator. 0 0.85 times 21, uh, times 0 0.85, uh, times C, uh, times 300. And that is equal to uh, 2,463.01 times 600 um, times 435 minus C, all over C. Okay, uh, let me input comma C. Okay, so shift calc and this C is equal to uh, 247.03. Two hundred forty-seven point zero three. Okay, uh, that is in millimeters. Now, after that, let's check what is its FS, because if this happens to be greater than FY, then we've got to use FY, which is two hundred forty megapascal. But if this happens to be less than FY, I mean. A 420 megapascal. So if this becomes less than Fy, then this is correct, no? Uh, correct yung assumption natin that uh, we are using this, no? So that is equal to 600 times uh, D minus C, 435 minus C, which is this, all over C. Yan. So evaluating that. Uh, the FS is equal to 600 times 435 minus this C over C. So as we see, FS is equal to 456.55 megapascal. And this is greater than uh, 420, the FY, which is 420. Megapascal. So what does this mean? Uh, that means uh, we must use Fy, uh, Fs equal to Fy, which is 420. And of course, mag change the new A. No? So if we are to go back in this equation, that is compression equal to tension, I've got to make this 0.85 Fc prime AB is equal to As Fy, 0.85 Fc prime AB is equal to ASFY, okay? So with that, um, let's calculate 0.85 times 21 times A. A is equal to, uh, A is the unknown dito. Then B is uh, 300 and that is equal to uh, 
63.01 uh, times Fy, which is 420 megapascal. So solving for A, uh, that is equal to this. over this, excluding that A. Okay, so if I'm gonna evaluate that, using this field, uh, 2,463.01 times 420 over 0 0.85 FC prime times B, 300 F9. So, I got this 193.17.17 millimeters. Okay, so after that, um, we may now get the nominal moment capacity. Now, the nominal moment capacity is the MN. Okay, and what is the formula for MN? Uh, MN is equal to um, tension or the compression force times the couple distance, which is D minus A over 2. What is that? Um, going back here, uh, the distance between this couple, now if we are to uh, draw that, uh, that's this. No? Uh, the compression, then the tension distance between this couple, the compression and tension is equal to D minus A over 2. So this may be T or this may be a C. Uh, well, for me, it's better to use T. Okay? So, MN is equal to AS FY uh, times D minus A over 2. Okay, so, so before that, nominal strength that is equal to 2,463 Point zero 0.01, this is the AS times FY, which is 420, uh, times D, uh, which is 435, minus A over 2. What's the A that we got? This over 2. Okay, so evaluating this. This is how I, how I evaluate, uh, how I calculate uh, no, arithmetic in um, Microsoft Word now using fields. Okay, over two. So that is equal to uh, eto. Okay, now, uh, making it in uh, kilonewton meter, uh, kasi uh, nakaano pa ito eh, newton millimeter pa ito eh, newton millimeter. So, making it in um, kilonewton meter, divide this by um, 1 times 10 raised to the power of 6, or simply 10 raised to 6. So, that becomes 349.04 kilonewton meter. made a mistake, 435 pala dapat to. Okay, so we just change this dito. Like that. Ito. Uh, no? I just have to change this to 345. Ito so, yung nominal uh, moment capacity or nominal flexural strength. Now, to get the uh, design moment capacity, or also called as design flexural strength, uh, we must multiply that uh, MN by phi MN, okay? Okay, ito. Design moment capacity. That is equal to phi MN. Okay, and that fee is called as the 
reduction or strength reduction factor. And to solve that, um, dapat we must know first the uh, net strain of the tensile steel. No? So what is the net strain? Um, what formula must we use? Ito. Na-derive natin yan kanina. This, right? So net strain is equal to 0 0.003 over C times D minus C. Okay? And um, hindi pa natin na-solve yung C. C is equal to A over beta sub 1. Because uh, A is equal to beta times C. No? Uh, of course, that C is greater than uh, A. So this is equal to 193.1773 over 0.85. Okay? So that is equal to? Uh, 277.26 or 27. Okay, that is the uh, C. Now, uh, let's use this to get this. So, um, this is equal to 0 0.003 over C, which is 277, uh, times D, which is 435, minus C. Okay? And that is equal to Nival weight is that is equal to point zero zero two seven four. Okay, now. Uh, this uh, net strain um, did not exceed 0 0.005. This is less than 0 0.005. That means M uh, phi, reduction factor phi, is not equal to 0.9. Okay? We must not use 0.9. Pero ano ba yung gagamitin natin? Uh, based on the code, uh, merong binigay na formula niyan. Uh, ito yung formula for determining the strength reduction factor uh, based on table 421.2.1 in NSCP 2015. Okay? So, if E sub T or net strain um, is less than the uh, balance strain, okay, E sub TY, uh, that means that is in compression controlled. The beam is in compression controlled. And the reduction factor is 0.65. Now, what is this? Uh, ito uh, is equal to Fy over Es. Fy over Es. So this is equal to uh, 420 over 200,000 megapascal. That is equal to? Uh, that's equal to 0 0.0021, okay? Now, if this uh, net strain uh, is ranging from ETY to 0 0.005, then that is in transition region, dito. And if that strain, net strain exceeds 0 0.005, that means that is in tension controlled, no? So, uh, point na yung gagamit nyan dyan, same as what I said, no? If that exceeds 0 0.005. But since... Uh, it does not, it does not exceed 0 0.005, no? And this uh, F80, uh, net strain, is ranging, no? As we see this, is greater than, um, greater than 0 0.0021, but less than 0 0.005, then this is in transition region, okay? So we're going to use uh, this formula in calculating the uh, strength reduction factor. Okay, so let's use that. A phi 
is equal to this. And let's substitute. Uh, this is equal to 0 0.65 plus 0 0.25 um, times E sub T, which is this one. So we got minus this, which is 0 0.0021 or 0 0.002. Now, sabi sa code that for the form reinforcement, E sub T Y should be equal to FY over ES, and for grade 280 deformed reinforcement, it shall be permitted to take uh, E sub TY equal to 0 0.002. You may just make that 0 0.002, no? So, we're done. So, solving for that, uh, that is equal to 0 0.65 plus 0 0.25. This 0 0.25 is the difference of 0.9 and 0.65, okay? At times, this over this. Okay, what will be the answer? Mm -hmm. Sorry for that. And that is point seven zero five. So, yan yung gagamitin natin strength reduction factor. So, the design moment capacity or design flexural strength or moment strength um, that is equal to phi mn and that is 0 0.705 times mn. Uh, what is the nominal strength as what we got? It was uh, 350.0. Seven four. So, so before it, that is equal to. Uh, let's find out. Two hundred forty six point eight. Uh, this is in kilonewton meter. Okay, so that's it. By the way, um, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, don't forget to do so. Uh, meron akong continuation ito. Huh? So, see you next time. Goodbye and God bless.